Hey guys, what is up? I decided to do a little haul because I purchased a lot of things this November, like a lot more than usual. I think it's because there are a lot of sales. But yeah, I just wanted to do a collective haul of the things that I got or I received from people for my birthday, which was really sweet of them. Okay, so the first thing is this sweater. It is from Urban Outfitters. I got this sweater because I thought it was really cute and it's a cable knit, if you can see that. I'll go ahead and bring you closer to see the details but yeah this is what it looks like and it's a nice burgundy color and I feel like you can't go wrong with a nice sweater this was $45 and I feel like it's a good sweater you know um to be honest it's not super thick but I think it's thick enough and I'm going to probably be wearing this a lot with a Uniqlo heat tech underneath so I think it's fine I really like kind of a higher neck collar protects your throat a little bit just in case if you get sick during this winter slash fall and yeah you should be good to go Okay, item number two, that is going to be the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. I got this as a birthday gift from my girl Jacqueline, and I had to shout her out because this palette is absolutely beautiful. Like, can you just look at that? Do you see how beautiful this is? Like, these shades are so gorgeous, and I've used this already. It is so amazing. I love the formulas in this. They are so pigmented, and I think this is just a beautiful absolutely amazing palette that you can use for the holiday season they have some shimmers in there and also some neutrals as well so you know this is going to be amazing to work with okay item number two they are two things that i got from my mother so the first thing is the clinique moisture surge i really like this item i've been trying it for a couple days it's basically just like a hydrating concentrated gel and it just gives all the moisture back to your skin so i like to use this at nighttime. and then she also got me a pack of face masks it is the i woke up like this all-in-one concentrate treatment mask and i really like these masks they're very like cloth like they don't feel super thin they're kind of doused in like almost a cream but it's not thick it's very moisturizing and i just feel really good after i put it on and take it off it doesn't have that super duper sticky feeling afterwards so i really like these so thank you mom so the next item that i got that was a gift was this beautiful Jo Malone perfume that my friends Amy and my friend Elaine, they pulled in money together to purchase this for me. I have been wanting this perfume ever since I smelled it in September. I was actually purchasing a gift for my friend Amy for her birthday, and I just walked into the Jo Malone store browsing, looking around for scents, you know, and I picked up this one, I gave it a whirl, and it was amazing. I absolutely love it. So I just... You just have to go and sniff it for yourself. Okay, I found a little card, but basically it says that it is a floral and it's a new bohemia, oh wait, smooth bohemian mesmerizing. The tasting notes, the top is cardamom, the heart is mimosa, and the base is tonka bean. So you can layer Jo Malone perfumes, which I really like. I actually have another fragrance from Jo Malone, and that is the Wood Sage and Sea Salt, which I really like. And I've been pairing it with the mimosa and cardamom, and I absolutely love it. The Wood Sage and Sea Salt is more earthy and musky and not in a weird way it's kind of unisex i feel like a guy and a girl can wear this and then this one is more sweet and nothing too crazy or over the top though i first put it on when i got the gift from amy and she was like it just smells like you and i feel like this smell really compliments me so the next item that i got which was from amy was the five love languages book i actually really love learning about this kind of stuff even like the myers-briggs test i'm an enfj um yeah we could talk about it i love that kind of stuff but yes i love the five love languages if you haven't already please take the test it is so important to know your love languages because when you're in a relationship sometimes even though you liked certain things in a relationship another person likes to be talked or treated like in another way and it's really important that you know why people are the way they are why they act the way they are especially when they're people close to you and how you can cater to their needs so the five different love languages are words of affirmation acts of services, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. So I am words of affirmation, acts of services, and then quality time in that order. And it just makes a lot of sense because I really like verbal affirmations and Kirby is more acts of services and quality time as opposed to words of affirmation. So in the beginning of our relationship, it was really difficult for me because he wasn't good at saying those things, you know, but over time we have learned to appreciate each other for what we both like, you know, and how to cater and help each other and make sure each each other feels loved, you know? So that's how you keep a relationship healthy and it's really important and I'm excited to read this 
this book because she knows that I'm all about this kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited. Thank you. Alrighty, so I got some things from Soko Glam and one of the things that I wanted to buy, like the main things, was this Misha Signature Essence Cushion in number 23. Sorry, there's a glare. It looks like this. And I've already been using it, as you can tell from the pad. And I actually really like this cushion. I'm always quite hesitant because they dry out really fast. But I really like this one. It's quite moisturizing and leaves a dewy but natural looking finish. It doesn't make me feel sticky or anything. So I really like that a lot. And then I bought a bunch of things from Sephora, of course. Because they had their 20% off sale for VIB members. And if you are not one... How do you do it? Because the minute I walk in there, I'm just like, I want everything! But, you know, it is what it is. Here are the things that I got from Sephora. So I got three masks. So these are the three that I picked up. I picked up this Sephora bubble mask because I thought it'd just be a really fun change of pace. And it's cool that it bubbles up. I think it's a really fun interactive mask and I can't wait to try this. Alrighty, so the next two masks that I got were from Dr. Jart. And I picked them up in Sephora. I really, really, really like Dr. Jart. I just think they're really cool and their marketing is really cool also. So I got their Water Replenishment Cotton Sheet Mask. So this is supposed to just go ahead and help with hydrating your skin, calming and purifying it. And it has marine collagen, chamomile, flower water, cactus flower extract. So they're all good things for your skin. And it's good for redness and dryness, which is what I have. And that especially comes out during the wintertime. So I'm sure this will be very helpful. Okay, and the last one, I've actually gifted this gift multiple times to people because I've heard amazing reviews, but I've never purchased it for myself, so I'm very excited to try it out. It is Dr. Jart's rubber mask. I've heard crazy things about it. It looks weird. Even the packaging is kind of creepy, but I heard that it's so great for your skin and it does wonders, and it's very unique too, so I'm excited to try this one out. Okay, so here are a couple other things that I purchased from Sephora. These are some lashes. These are House of Lashes and Sephora Collection Lashes. Oh, they're so beautiful and so dramatic, and I'm very excited to wear them on a night out. And the next pair that I bought was just a regular Sephora Collection. It's their Fringe Number no. 4. Looks like this. It's very fluttery, not as dramatic on the outside, but yeah, I really like these. They're really, really, really cute, so... I'm excited to wear these as well. The next thing I got was the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Pillow Talk Lipstick. This packaging is so beautiful. Like, I just took it out of the box. This is me unboxing it for the first time because I just got this ordered from Sephora. It's so beautiful. Like, oh my god, look at that color. It's like a nudie pink um, with hints of like taupe, I want to say, and it just looks so beautiful, and I'm really excited to try this. This is my first Charlotte Tilbury product. It's very high luxury, very, very, very expensive, but because of the 20% off, I was willing to bite the bullet and just try it because why not, and it's my birthday month, and I've been saying that way too much for all of the things that I've been purchasing, which is bad, but it's okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so the last thing that I picked was the Whey Hair Care, and that is the Rose Hair and Body Oil. I've heard a lot about Whey. Their scent is pretty strong, I do know that. I've tried the Wave Spray before. I feel like the drugstore ones do just the same thing with my hair, so I'll just stick with the drugstore ones. But I'm really excited to try this because my hair oil is actually running out. Okay, last couple things, I swear. I picked up a Glossier Boy Brow because I've been running out, and you know, you just gotta do what you gotta do because homegirl needs to get her brows in place and this is what the Glossier Boy Brow looks like um, I really like this product I feel like it does wonders for my sparse very thin brows I have a lot of hair but it's just their gaps you know and this definitely helps with that I'm happy with using the Glossier Boy Brow and I will continue to use it alrighty and the last thing that I picked up was from Amazon and these are some lashes look how beautiful they are oh I'm freaking in love with these they're so beautiful and wispy and just kind of fluffy looking and I love that it also comes with the lash applicator and it's rose gold which is a really nice touch so yeah I'm really excited to wear those lashes as well I've just been really wanting to spend I'm not sure why I feel like there's just a lot of sales happening right now especially that Sephora sale really got me because I know Sephora hardly ever does sales so it was important for me to pick up what I needed and what I wanted to try and you know so Sephora is always pretty good about returning things to if I don't like it. So yeah, that is what I bought in the month of November. I went shopping with one of my best friends, Sue, today. And I just wanted to add these into the haul because I thought it'd be weird if I didn't. And they're really nice things that I really enjoy and that I absolutely love. And I'm very glad that I got. So 
let's just show you what I got. All right, so the first thing I got was something from Urban Outfitters. This is the vitamin C um, peeling pad and also their real gel mask. Um, I'm really interested in trying this. All right, the next thing that I got from Urban were these pants. They were these jeans right here. I will show you. So they're like a straight leg with a distressed end. And I really, really like these because they're high-waisted, which is what I love in jeans. And also, I like that... They're a straight leg. I feel like I own a lot of skinnies and I really wanted straight legs that didn't have any distressing until at the bottom. I really like jeans with a hem like this, with distressing like this, because I feel like it looks really good with boots on. So I'm going to show you real quick what it looks like. By the way, I will say, she did tell me that these are kind of tight in the beginning and they're pretty fitted, but they do stretch out once you continue to wear them. So I'm excited to try these. Okay, I'll show you what they look like. This is what they look like on. I really like the wash of these. I didn't button these all the way yet. Okay, so this is what the jeans look like on. I just really like the distressed ends. And I know that it doesn't do like that much for my booty, but I feel like most straight, le straight leg jeans don't. As you can see, I didn't button these all the way because I just ate. But yeah, I'm working on getting a new mirror, by the way. I'm really sorry about that. To be honest, I really love these jeans, but they are a little bit uncomfortable and stiff, I will say, in the beginning. Um, it's also probably because I'm bloated and I feel like I did gain weight. Not gonna lie, I've been eating really good ever since I moved to Queens, which makes a lot of sense. But yeah, I'm excited to wear these a lot and stretch them out so that way they're more comfortable. My friend Sue who works there, she said that they're her favorite pair of jeans because they're really comfortable after they get worn in. So yeah, I'm excited to do that. Alrighty, so the next thing that I got were gifts from my friend Sue, and I'm so thankful for her. She's so amazing. If you haven't already, please check her channel down below, Snaby B. She has really creative content, and to be honest, I get a lot of inspiration from her. She's so sweet and one of the nicest people in this world. So, yeah, check her down below. She's so cool. She's so awesome. Tell her I sent you. But, yeah, I got the Frank Body Coffee Scrub. I've heard a lot about this company, and I'm really excited to try it because... I, this is gonna sound really weird, but I sometimes get eczema on my arms. Don't know why, it feels like I have chicken arms, and I feel like the scrub will definitely help and soften and smoothen my body. So I'm excited to try this out. Thank you so much, Sue. The next thing that I got is the Rupee Car sequel to Milk and Honey. It is the Sun and Her Flowers. I love this type of stuff. Um, I actually already have a copy, but I lost it, so I'm really glad that I got this, to be honest. I think I left it somewhere maybe in my old house i'm not quite sure so i'm excited to own this baby again i've read it but i think it's important to read these types of things over and over again because they're kind of mantras and stories that you need to remember in your life so yeah i highly recommend ruby Carr. if you like simple poetry and stuff like that go ahead and check her out her first book is milk and honey and this is her sequel the sun and her flowers Alright, the last gift that I got from my friend Sue is this amazing and beautiful belt bag. It's a leather belt bag from Free People and literally, as you can see, got this today on the tag. They were actually supposed to mail it to her, to her place, but it got lost in the mail or something happened, so it was delayed. And we were already in Soho and she was like, hey, let's just go and see if they have it. And this is literally the last one in the store. It was meant to be. I'm freaking in love. I know it doesn't look anything crazy when it's like this, but I'm gonna put it on for you real quick. Alrighty, so it's on right now. Is this not cute? Like, I was planning on bringing this with me to Asia when I go on my trip. I'm just gonna show you that I can fit a lot of things in here, okay? I'm gonna show you real quick. Alrighty, so I got a couple things. I have my keys here. I have a bottle of perfume. I don't know why. This is just the first thing I picked up. And my phone. And it all fits in here, as you can see. I'm putting everything in here. Everything is great. It fits here really well. It's made really nicely. I'm gonna wear this for sure in Asia. And I love this like chain detail right here. I think it makes it a lot more fashionable. As you can see right there. I think it makes it a lot more fashionable and cool. Like, I don't know, like, I just really like this style right now. I really wanted the Adidas one, um, the Adidas original slouch bag, but I was debating on it because 
I just didn't think it would look good with my outfits in Asia. I'm gonna be dressed pretty put together and I don't want it to look like I took this random sporty item and put it on my back and put it on my body. So I feel like this definitely suits it a lot more. There's also a little compartment here and I can put like my keys in here. I can put a lipstick, chapstick. I tested it in free people. I can put my vlog camera in here and my phone, which is super important and like my, and my card holder. So those are really the only things I need and chapstick. So I can't believe she bought this for me. I'm so excited. I was literally thinking about purchasing the Adidas one, but this one is way cooler and way better. So thank you so much, Sue. I'm so grateful for you. Oh, and also I like that it has a lot of holes in here so you can put it around your waist too not just you know obviously across your shoulder but there's a lot of holes look from here all the way to the end here so i really like that and it actually looks really cute around the waist as well so i'm so excited to wear this thank you again so much sue Alrighty, and the last item that i got today was actually from oakenfort oakenfort is known to have very minimal and beautiful clothing and i love their clothes so much i really want one of their long jackets so i can wear it in korea in Japan because it's gonna be cold day up there for sure especially in Korea but I picked up these really cool earrings they have a double hoop on them which is pretty cool if you can see here and I just really like them I think they look really cool and different you know like a different take on the typical hoop trend so I'm gonna just show you what they look like on so I got the earrings on to be honest they were kind of hard to put on because it's pretty close I will show you right now Alrighty, so this right here, I don't know if you could tell, um, this was like basically touching this part. So I had to lift this up, this part right here. So I basically had to lift this part right here up in order to get my earlobe to fit under here. It was very strange, but it's fine, you know, I had to do it, I guess. I just feel like I shouldn't have to do something like that if it's $18 for earrings. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. I don't know why, like, I should have to do that. See, even now, it's, like, kind of taking me a little bit long to, like, get it in there. That's what she said. Okay, but anyways. Okay. I got them back on. So, as you can see, it's, like, kind of hard to get on. But I do have to say they are quite cute. I do really like them. If you can see it like that. It's, like, double. It kind of looks like a moon almost. But, yeah, I, I like it. It's just... Is it worth it to do that? I don't really know. Um, also, if anybody has like suggestions on where to get um, earrings for like your tragus, because I have my tragus pierced, or for like cartilage piercings, like I've been trying to find something that's affordable and also not too bad quality. Um, I don't like Forever 21 quality. Um, I'm allergic to nickel, so I prefer like sterling silver or like even like vermeil that's like coated in um, 14 karat gold, like that kind of stuff. So if anybody has any suggestions, I've been looking into Majuri. Majuri is a little expensive for like, I want to say like these like cartilage piercings and stuff like that. But I mean, I guess we'll just see what happens. All right, guys, that is the end of the haul. These are all the items that I received or bought with my own money that I accumulated over the past, I want to say two months or so. Or there were items that I purchased a long time ago, but I didn't feature until now. So, yeah, I just want to clarify that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and do all that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what videos you would like to see from me. The next video I will be posting is my November vlog, so keep your eye out for that. A lot happened this month. I feel like a lot in October happened, but this month is also crazy as well. So, make sure you go watch that. If you haven't already, go watch my October vlog and my makeup tutorial. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!